Folks, the picture you see in front of you is the picture of House of Representatives member and the chairman of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, Devin Nunes. He's a Republican uh, out of California, and coincidentally, he was a member of the Trump transition team. Mr. Nunez needs to resign as chairman of the Intelligence uh, Committee. The reason he needs to resign is twofold. Number one, he was part of the Trump transition team, which his own committee is basically uh, investigating. So there, in my opinion, is a conflict of interest here. That conflict of interest, again, in my opinion, was proven by the fact that Mr. Nunez received some, uh, I believe, classified information regarding uh, surveillance of uh, various members of the Trump transition team. And instead of, number one, sharing it with the ranking member, which is pretty much protocol, and then number two, sharing it with his entire uh, committee and then making a decision on how to proceed with that information, Mr. Nunez decided to inform, number one, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, and then he went, held a news conference indicating that he had some information and then he went directly to the president, Donald Trump, and informed him of the information that he had. He then turned around, came back out, and gave another uh, news conference. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark as far as Mr. Nunes is concerned. He violated pretty much every protocol for his own intelligence committee. And Adam Schiff, who is the ranking member, uh, the number one Democrat on that committee, is ticked off, and he should be. Now, since Mr. Nunes is the only one who, quote unquote, uh, was able to see the information that uh, he's uh, referring to, there can be no decision on how valid that information is. So obviously this gave Donald Trump cover for his lies regarding uh, President uh, Obama basically ordering uh, wiretaps on him. Now, Mr. Nunez did state that um, he does not believe that President Obama did wiretap uh, Donald Trump, but he just threw a whole lot of smoke in front of everybody and now people are going to have to try to uh, cl claw their way through to uh, get to the uh, bottom of this. Mr. Nunes, again, he needs to resign. I'm just going to be straight out about this. Um, and even the Senate uh, Intel uh, Committee is uh, making a noise about uh, Mr. Nunez's violation of uh, protocol as far as the sharing of information is concerned. Mr. Nunez, instead of acting as the chairman of the Intelligence uh, Committee uh, for the House, basically was acting like a Trump surrogate. You can't do that. But apparently, uh, he doesn't believe that it's a problem because he did. Now, as far as uh, the press conference that he gave uh, today, he stated that on numerous occasions, the intelligence community incidentally collected information about US citizens involved in the Trump transition. But he was totally vague when he was questioned as to you know who, what, where, and when. So, for him to come out and make a v rather vague statement and then not be willing to uh, answer the questions of the press and truly of the American people really uh, casts uh, what he did as being highly suspect. 
Paul Ryan needs to make a decision, and that decision should be to form an independent, select, bipartisan uh, committee to get this out of the uh, House of Representatives so that no more stink uh, can be uh, laid both on the uh, Republicans, Mr. Ryan, or the House whatsoever. Yeah, what really bothered me more than anything else was the fact that this guy went running to President Trump without even uh, informing the members of his own committee. And if he had the wherewithal to do that without even thinking about the protocol of how things are supposed to be done, that just tells me that this guy, number one, should not be chairman of that committee, and number two, probably shouldn't be on that committee whatsoever, given the fact that, that it's that committee that was investigating the transition team, of which, again, he was part. Now, Mr. Nunes claims that he got this information through the proper channels. Well, um, FBI Director Comey uh, didn't uh, say anything about it, and uh, McMaster didn't say uh, anything about it, and apparently they would have uh, been uh, privy to the, that information. So if they did, in fact, then they probably did know all about the information that Nunes is talking about, but they felt that it was not relevant or prevalent to, uh, number one, bring that information up during the uh, House uh, hearings that were held just a couple of days ago. But for uh, some reason, Mr. Nunes felt uh, like that information was uh, relevant and it needed to be uh, run up the flagpole to uh, President Trump as quickly as possible. This guy going public with nothing, and I do mean nothing, um, is just another example of the uh, fox uh, out there supposedly guarding the hen house. And Mr. Nunes is uh, one of Trump, Trump's uh, foxes, and he's just not doing his job. Now, as far as uh, US citizens being captured while speaking with lawful non-U.S. Uh, targets of surveillance under FISA orders, Nunes reiterated that there had been no wire tap on Trump Tower, as the president had alleged. So if that is in fact the case, he should have just kept his mouth shut about anything else, particularly since he is aware, as we all are, that the Trump campaign is under FBI investigation. So he just basically tip the hand of uh, the FBI. And Donald Trump, when he got wind of this, he was asked if he felt uh, uh, vindicated, and he answered by saying he felt somewhat vindicated. Okay, How he could feel vindicated when he told that lie about uh, President Obama wiring tapping him is uh, beyond me. But this action by Mr. Nunes has started a firestorm and it's just going to be a matter of time before this either blows up or gets punted out to an independent, uh, com uh, independent uh, panel of people with no polit political aspirations uh, so that we can actually get to the bottom of this.